Hello, this is Stephanie from a pass to CMAexam.com. Today we discuss the historical CMA exam pass rate and how this may affect your study strategy. The pass rate of the CPA exam is around 50% every year. Many people assume the CMA exam to be easier, but do you know what's the latest pass rate? It's 42% for part 2 and an appalling 35% for part 1. Why so low? I have these observations. One big reason of the low pass rate, in my opinion, is the fact that CMA exam has a low entry of barrier. In order to sit for the exam, a bachelor degree is required, but it can be from any discipline. No minimum accounting or business courses are necessary as a prerequisite. This attracts a lot of what I call the casual takers who want to give it a try without gaining basic accounting knowledge and without proper studying. Failure rate of these candidates are clearly very high. The second observation relates to the English language. CMA examiners break down the pass rate percentages by region. The vast majority of candidates in Americas are from the U.S. This group of candidates had the best performance with 51% and 54% respectively. The next group is the Europeans, most of them from the U.K. The pass rates were 50% and 52%. Candidates from Asia Pacific are mostly from China and to a lesser extent, Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia, and other Asian countries. The pass rates were 41% and 45%. Candidates from the Middle East come from a vast region covering around 10 countries. The pass rates were 21% and 29%. The relative performance is closely correlated to whether the candidates are tested in their native language. It is obvious that English-speaking candidates have higher pass rates. In Asia-Pacific, Chinese candidates can choose to take the exam in Chinese, while those from Australia, Singapore, and Hong Kong generally have good command of English. In comparison, the Middle Eastern candidates have a distinct disadvantage. Does it mean that non-English-speaking candidates are doomed? Not at all. I've got so many readers from the Middle East that passed the exam on their first try. You can check out my recommendations I wrote for them in LinkedIn. As long as you know what to expect and how to study properly, we all have a very good chance of success. Here is my advice to aspiring candidates. Don't take the exam if you are a casual taker. Non-accounting majors can definitely become a CMA but you must work extra hard to gain basic accounting knowledge before the exam. It may also take longer for you to go through the practice questions, so time management and good study plan is very important. If English is not your first language, please understand the exam is especially tough for you, but you can overcome it systematically. When going through the practice questions, read slowly and get familiar with how they are phrased. Pay special attention to internal control in part one because the questions are often lengthy and complex. The trick is to comprehend what the examiners are testing you. Is it a particular concept or how the concept is applied? Once you get used to the style, the exam is very doable. I hope this analysis is helpful. See you in the next video.